Hallie here from Let's Plan, making a quick video to show you how you would download and add digital inserts into your planner. What you see on the screen here is the PDF page that comes with the access to your planner. So this is going to give you access to your fall activities planner and your Christmas planner. So I'm going to click on this digital page landscape here for my Christmas planner. So it's in the landscape um, orientation. Click on that. It's going to take you to Dropbox. All my files in, are stored in Dropbox. Do not feel you need to have the app or get a Dropbox account to do any of this. I've already paid for it, so my customers do not need to. So this is the Dropbox screen. I'm going to click, double click on this download in the left top corner. Give that a second. In the middle, I'm going to click on this blue download. If you do not have this option pop up, look at the very bottom of your screen and you may see a small white bar. What it means is just you're using a different browser. I am using Safari. In Chrome, it will pop up at the bottom of your screen and you will have to click the blue download at the bottom of your screen. So I'm just going to click the download. Over here in the top right, the circle with the arrow pointing down, there's a blue line that starts under it. Once that's done, it means it's already downloaded. It's pretty quick. Now I'm going to click out of here and go to the app that's reading my planner, which is GoodNotes. So here's my GoodNotes app down at the bottom of my screen. I'm clicking on that. I already have a page open and ready to show you. So now I like to do the split screen method to add my um, planner, my digital inserts to my planner. I will show you the other method, which is also easy to do, um, and some older iPads won't let you do the split screen, so it's good to know just in case you have an older iPad. So slide your finger up from the bottom of the screen, and then you're going to get this option here. If you don't see your blue file folder, just click on the end here. It's all your apps piled up. So we want this blue folder. So I'm going to drag it over to the right. I'm going to put my finger on it and drag it, it's going to create a split screen. So right here, ignore that there's two of these because I was doing practice before this video. Um, here's what we just downloaded, the Zip Landscape Planner. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to open it. And depending on your internet speeds, it may take a second. Once it turns blue, that means you can open it again. Click it and it has all your pages in it. So I'm going to put my finger down on one and slide it over. And there we go. Now I'm going to get rid of my split screen. I can resize this, put it where I want on my page. Um, if I want to crop it at all on the sides and at the top, there are the options to crop. I just clicked off of it. Um, well, I'm just making a mess here. Here we go. Now I wanna show you how you would add this page if you didn't have the option to do the split screen or you don't like doing that option. So let me get out of my toolbar. Let me click this arrow to get to another blank page. I'm going to go back because I'm in GoodNotes, so I need to put on my toolbar in order to get to the option to add the pictures. So I clicked on my toolbar. About in the middle, you're going to see what looks like the picture. It's blue right now. You're going to click on that. Now you have the option to add pictures, which is great if you like to decorate your planner, or take screenshots of different things and add them into your planner. It's really fun to do. But what we wanna do is go to the insert from, which is down here on the bottom. You click on that and it will access your files within your planner. So I don't see my Christmas one here. So I need to use this back button up here by browse, click on that, and I'm gonna to go to recents. Oh, where did I store it? This is why I don't like doing the split screen because I never know where I stored my um, my recent. No, what did I do with it? So you need to find your file. <laughs> okay, it's in here in my downloads. Wow, I found it. Okay, so you take your time, you find your file. It looks just like that split screen. I go ahead and tap on it. Same thing, you just have to tap on the picture that you want. Then you go ahead and move it around your page wherever you want it. Some people do full page. Some people leave room around it to write notes or whatnot. We had pictures. So that's how you would insert a digital page into your planner. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, thank you for your purchase. Happy planning.